While subcuticular closure yields impressive cosmetic outcomes, it presents its own set of challenges. One such challenge is its reliance on one or two knots for the entire closure. If these knots are improperly tied, or if the sutures are trimmed too closely, there's a risk of unraveling. Additionally, palpable knots from monofilament sutures can cause discomfort to the patient, and subcuticular closure can also be time intensive. Barbed sutures offer solutions to address these concerns. In this demonstration, I'll illustrate a subcuticular closure using the Stratafix Spiral 3O suture composed of polyglycaprone 25, an absorbable material commonly known as Monocryl Plus. Usually, the suture is undyed, but I am using a dyed variant over here for ease of visualization. Initial bites at the incision's end are taken as previously shown. Like for standard subcuticular sutures, the initial bite is forehanded, whereas the second bite on the opposite side is taken in a reverse direction towards the angle. Instead of tying a knot, the needle is threaded through the preformed loop and the suture is pulled to anchor the closure. Subsequent subcuticular bites are placed parallel to the averted skin edges, ensuring opposite points of entry and exit. Barb sutures effectively maintain skin edge apposition and prevent suture slippage, minimizing any laxity. Upon reaching the incision's end, the needle is passed through the end of the incision in the dermal plane, staying as superficial as possible, emerging a short distance away from the incision. The suture is then trimmed flush with the skin. The spiral design of the suture streamlines closure, ensuring optimal wound edge apposition and eliminates the needs of all knots.